Do you know anything about what to expect today? I should be expecting the unexpected. Hello there and welcome to Grey Goose Presents High Street. I am your host, Sarah Huang Benjamin, and in this series, I get to chat to some of Singapore's favorite food experts. I'm very excited about it. If you don't know me, I like to think that I'm a bit of a cocktail myself. I come from a mixed family, and I'm born and raised in Singapore, so obviously, I love food and everything Singapore has to offer. But that's enough about me. I cannot wait to bring out our first guest of this series. I think she's the perfect person to kickstart this whole thing with. She sits on the board of Asia's 50 Best Restaurants Academy, and she is one of Singapore's top food experts. Please welcome Evelyn Chen. Hi, Evelyn. Hi, Sarah. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. So today, we are really trying to embody what Grey Goose is all about. Highest quality cocktails. And we are going to reward you in the form of some unexpected pairings. Do you know anything about what to expect today? I should be expecting the unexpected. That's it. That's the right <laughs> attitude. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's bring out pairing number one. This looks to me like a very familiar drink. Any guesses what this is? Let me smell it. Well, it smells like there's a component in here that um, I drink every morning. A component, right? Not You don't drink this every morning. <laughs> no. Well, I think this is a very fitting kickstart to the series, so cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. mm. Good old espresso martini. So I'm guessing it's the coffee that you drink every day, not the martini. Coffee bit. indeed. <laughs> This is a classic, beloved cocktail. It's got coffee, coffee liqueur, vodka. What would you guess is under this cover? What would you pair with an espresso martini? Well, my first guess would be coffee with a kaya toast. Mmm, interesting. So like a classic Singaporean breakfast. It is indeed. Right? Okay, let's have a look. Let's see if Evelyn's guess is good. Oh my goodness. You got it exactly right. <laughs> got it exactly right. That's kaya toast right there. Let's try this out, this pairing. Cheers to this. Is a cheers. cheers. Mm. Try it with the espresso martini. That actually goes so well. Let me know what you think. Sweet kaya toast with a legit strong kopi martini. Mm -hmm. Very, very good. And somehow the espresso martini the coffee notes because it's roasted, it brings out the butteriness of the kaya toast a little bit more. And with the alcoholic kick, wonderful. So, we have these pairings, we have some drinks, some food. We also have some little conversation starters right here under the coaster. It's been on the table all along. So, I have a question for you, Evelyn. What is a win that you would like to toast to? Let's uh, have a belated toast to uh, UNESCO's inscription of Singapore's hawker culture on the intangible cultural heritage for humanity list. That's Let's a great that. one. Perfect. Cheers. Cheers. For me, when I see a drink come in a champagne glass, I immediately feel a little bit fancier. I don't know about you. <laughs> well, it looks very refreshing. I see a wedge of lime in it. Yes, and the beautiful flower and the cute little goose stirrer. I know. I mean, I can tell that it's fizzy. I think it's going to be really nice and refreshing. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, wow, super refreshing. So refreshing. Definitely you taste the lime, the fizziness of the soda, but there's also a hint of kind of an elderflower, citrusy, fizzy, kind of almost tropical drink, right? Mm -hmm. Again, same question I'm going to ask you. It's citrusy, it's tangy. What would you think is the local food that we're going to pair with this? A cocktail like this would go very well with food that's a little bit greasy. Greasy, And okay. uh, perhaps a bit meaty. Meaty. I have a feeling you're on the right track. Let's find out what's under the cover. Oh, you got Ooh. it. Exactly right <laughs> again. <good>. Meaty, <laughs> indulgent. Mojabak is so good. It is, you know, this beautiful flaky pastry with the meaty, savory filling. Very I mean, eggy too. Very eggy. I'm talking about it. I'm getting hungry. Let's go for it. Let's dig in. I think we have beef and chicken. Which one are you going to go for? I like beef. Okay, I'll go for I the chicken. Okay. Mmm. Mm. Oh, this is a really good mutabak. It's very really savory. onion y. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very savory. 
I'm gonna try it with the drink. I love the pairing. Very mm. refreshing and perfect pairing. It's actually very unexpected because when you drink something like this, which has the elderflower notes, very floral, quite delicate, you wouldn't think to pair it with something robust and spiced like this. Or but something very local. <laughs> something very local too. But somehow, it just works. The pairing works you know? very well. Well, just now, I had a little help from my little conversation starter coaster. But I don't get all the fun. You actually oh. have one under your coaster as well. Do I have one? Let's see. What's one street food snack that reminds you of your childhood? It's probably curry puff. I mean, we're talking about snacks, yes. right? So I grew up with my Ipoh, my grand aunt, and her favourite thing was always curry puffs, and she called it curry puff. Curry puff. <laughs> so, so that's she, my mum. <laughs> right? So she was always like, buy me some curry puff. And I always think of that. And I always think of her. So yeah, that reminds me a lot of my childhood. I'm going to keep this going. Let's bring out the third pairing. Our third and final pairing is out on the table. I know exactly what this is. It's one of my favourite cocktails. Bloody Mary. Yeah, there we go. Okay, <laughs> cheers. Cheers. Wow. Spicy. Spicy. And this is quite a tough one because these flavours, the tomato juice, we don't see them often in Singapore no. cuisine. It's tangy and a little acidic. Quite and, savory, yeah, savory, spicy. Well. What do you think is hiding under here? Impossible to guess. Impossible to guess? Impossible. Okay, we'll just have to find out. Chai Tao Kui! Chai Tao Kui, aka <laughs> Carrot Cake. That actually is a really great pairing that I didn't see coming. Mm, neither did I. Actually, it's amazing that once the cover is off, mm -hmm. the fragrance hits you immediately. Yes. And I can kind of start to see how this would be a great pairing, you know? Let's try it. Let's try it. Okay, are you a black carrot cake or white carrot I cake I used person? to be a white carrot cake person and then um, I'm a convert now. I prefer the black one. Okay, I prefer the white one. Okay. okay. Time for the pairing. That works so well. Oh my god. Gonna try the white one first. Of course, please. <laughs> Having tried the black and the white carrot cake with the Bloody Mary, I think I actually prefer the black with the Bloody Mary. That's very interesting. I prefer the white with the Bloody Mary. Come on. Ah, we're this is when we're gonna, we're gonna argue now. <laughs> it's such an intensely savory dish because you have the preserved radish, mm -hmm. which gives that really nice saltiness. And Bloody Mary is like the most savory cocktail ever. The tanginess and the light savoriness actually goes perfectly well with the um, sweetness of the black sauce in the black carrot cake. Mm, so more oh, about sorry. contrast. Yes. Now I have a little conversation prompt here behind my coaster. Evelyn, with all your travel mm. and your exposure to street food and hawker food around the world, what do you think sets Singaporean street food culture apart? I think Singapore street food culture is very diverse. Um, in one sitting, you get to taste Chinese hawker food, Malay hawker food as well as Indian hawker food and even Peranakan hawker food like uh, laksa. So it is uh, very representative of the uh, melting pot of culture that is very much us in Singapore. And you have people from different ethnic groups, different language groups, working, eating, living side by side. So our food is just so diverse. It, it picks from so many different cultures, so many flavours and it smashes it all together. It's super delicious. Exactly. To Singapore's hawker food. Cheers. Cheers. Evelyn, I think I've had my fill of food and drink. I don't Me know about too. you. I have one final little thing I want to do with you. What is it? They've been hiding here in plain sight. This whole time, we're going to do a little rapid fire round. Uh -huh. I'm going to ask you questions and we'll see how many you can get through in 30 seconds. So you just need to say the first thing that comes to mind. Okay. We'll okay. Try. All right. So let's get the timer on. What's a meal you can whip up in no time? Instant noodles. <laughs> if you could choose to, where would you wake up tomorrow? In Paris. Mm, what would you be doing? Bonus. Having a croissant with uh, espresso. Mm, sounds delicious. You can carpool karaoke with any musician who's in the passenger seat. Um, none. Maybe my husband. <laughs> <laughs> What's the way to your heart? Food, of course. And that's 30 seconds. That. Perfect. Let's see. Was cover it? other questions? Well, oh. it's how many you can do in 30 seconds. Okay. That wasn't too bad, was it? Okay, no, it's alright. <laughs> 
I mean, we've tasted some really unexpected pairings, but which one was your favorite from today? I think it would have to be the kopitini with the kaya toast, the caffeine kick, as well as the garlic cake from the kopitini went really well with the uh, sweetness of the uh, kaya toast. I love that you just rebranded espresso martini <laughs> as a kopitini. Sounds properly Singaporean, and I totally agree. I would love to start a Sunday with that combination. It's just such a great way to start a relaxing day. Well, thank you so much, Evelyn, for being here and being the first guest. Thank you, Sarah. Thanks for having me. And thank you for tuning in. Stay tuned for our next episode, and I'll see you soon.